Hey guys and welcome back to another video of the Stanley Parable. We are gonna play the epilogue today because it's shiny. The epilogue is shiny and that's all the reasons I need. Definitely all the reasons I need for that. No, I hated that. Hey guys and welcome back to another video of the Stanley Parable. Today we are finally gonna play the epilogue because I, it's shiny. What more do I need? What more do we need? So I'd say let's just start. I heard this is like the continuing ending of the skip button ending, something like that. I hope I remember it right, but we'll see that. Epilogue. Many, many years later. And I think I remembered it right. Because that's how it looked like with the skip button ending. So I guess we'll just wander around because there's pretty much nothing but desert and sand because we're in a desert and the sky. <laughs> All right. So, oh, this looks really this looks beautiful. Not gonna lie, this kind of looks really beautiful. So I guess we're just gonna have some cutscenes, maybe? Like, I mean this with cutscenes, if you <laughs> don't know what I mean. You probably do, I don't know why I'm explaining this. Yo, the colors are so vibrant. And... Obviously, this seems to be kind of the apocalypse <laughs> with chairs and sandstorms. But the colors are really just stunning. Okay. Yo, the, mu <laughs> the moon. Oh my god, it's the moon, guys. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, now this is really pretty. I'm just gonna follow the sun and the moon and the stars. And... Isn't this like the memory... center? Not, not center, I know. Well, we'll see. And as you can see, no face cam today because I'm recording this a little bit later and the lighting just wouldn't be good. Like, even with daylight and face cam, I still have bad lighting, which, which is fine, for me at least. Mm, okay, let's just walk in. Oh. <laughs> Except if we fail to do so. In loving memory, the Stanley Parable 2. Damn, this is... This kind of looks sad. Run down and sad. It reminds me of myself. Okay, I'm gonna try to look around real good, because... I don't know what I am gonna expect from this. We're hidden away. We're just gonna stay here, actually. Oh, where? Wait, are we bugged? Please don't tell me we're bugged. Okay, nope. Um. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just really stupid. Okay guys, welcome to our new home. This is gonna be the video. We're just gonna stay here because I am incapable of leaving. As you can see, and here, I'm trying to move out of here, but um, it has claimed us as their own. So um, we're just gonna be here. I'm gonna be living here from now on. This is gonna be this video and every video in the future. Just gonna be us standing here. 
that's that's incredible. Let let's not let's not do that again actually. Let let's just walk. I think that's like the better option than being stuck behind the wall for all my years. Maybe. Ooh, this looks fancy. Cookie nines block. Uncompromising gaming content. Uncomp oh yeah, okay, I read it right. Uh, review the Stanley Parable 2, posted on April 27th by Cookie 8. Eight. That's a nine. I literally just said nine. Okay, anyway, moving on, moving on. Archives, September 2027. Damn. That, that's the future. <laughs> oh, really? Piss order, what, wait, what? Piss order, one, nine, nine, what the hell? Okay, um, um, okay, I got, I got, res I, Moving on. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Oh, well, damn. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole. Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve from... Um, I I agree with the bucket part. Are we supposed to go there? Or because there's also a way, it seems. Is it just gonna be... in the same room? Oh wait, can't we? Can we even go up there? Does... Maybe? Doesn't seem like it right now. Maybe if I try harder? <laughs> mm, okay, maybe not. Uh, I'm actually quite unsure. Maybe I'll try later again. Because it pr there probably is something if we get an option to go here. You know? Uh, but let's just go on with the epilogue, I guess. I'm a bit tired. Maybe you noticed that. Oh my god, I know! I know the buttons! I know that. I think there's like one Stanley button. I'm, I'm not sure though. I think I've seen a clip of this. I think I've seen a clip of this. Um, Stanley Parable, Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build a proper property into an entire franchise, but a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has promoted the developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. <coughs> It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about. Yet it turns out this could not have been farther from the truth. Uh, yeah, you guys just made something completely different. Not, not completely, but you get what I mean. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears about 25 times in the press release. Review scores in video games. Oh god. What was that? A YouTube's apology video? Oh yeah, this was here, right? No. Wait, I want to look at the buttons. I thought maybe this was where the other room led. Yeah, 
No, our name is not Jim, our name is Stanley. There has to be a Stanley button, right? Like... Right? It says Stanley. We found the button, guys. Not Jim. Shut up, Jim. Nobody cares. Nobody asked. Uh, wait, I think there was a room. There was another room. There are so many rooms. Okay, I don't think this counts as a room, technically. Oh, wait, no, this is where we came from. I'm, f I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> What the- Okay, okay, guys, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my, my brain is dead, it's deep fried in oil. It's deep fried in oil. I would eat it if I could. Wait, what? No, this- I, I get home mostly every day at like 6 p.m. after I've been awake for like 7, not 7 a.m., 6.40. 6.40 and then I go to school and then I come home at like 6 p.m. My my brain is dead. My brain is dead. So so apologies for the lack of content and the lack of my brain usage in this video. Oh. This this is cool. Thank you for enjoying the new content. No problem, I genuinely did. Kind of. Wait, was this a mistake? Should I have looked around more? Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise? What nonsense! The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. <laughs> Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard, in fact. Let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple, all we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game, something loud and gaudy. <laughs> Go ahead, try combining some random words together and make a new title for our game. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wacky mind control machine. <laughs> The Stanley Parable 3 Wacky Mind Control Machine. The Stanley Parable 3 Wacky Mind Control Machine. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when, do you, when you do this either. 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 I never knew how to use these words. I, I still don't know, so anyway. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It will just be the same content, recycled again and again and again, with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. I like it. It's silly. It's stupid. It's so stupid. I love it. Let's do it. Good. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like you giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not, I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me, let's fix it. Alright there, the achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end, it can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. 
I missed this so much. Okay. Wait, let me check the time. Wait. It's... 11.23. Confirm. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. I will. Thank you as well. <laughs> you are playing the Stanley Parable 3. Wacky mind controlling machine. <laughs> Why was there a random car? Don't get me wrong. I loved it. <laughs> Wait. Let's... Let's play... A normal round just to honor the new title. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he made, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Because he was made for this job. Obviously. I love stating the obvious. Something that would forever change. Our title. Let's go. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yo, <laughs> oh, what? wait, wait. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. God, I, I love this game. So s silly. Nah, it's actually really, really good. We're gonna take the bucket or without the bucket? Let's honor the original. The original. Wait, no, screw the legacy. Let's take the bucket. It is a bucket. Oh, can we not just turn to the new content hall? I didn't know we could do that. But I said we're gonna make... Okay. After this, we're gonna go through there. But right now, we're, like I said, we're gonna do like an original run. And so we did. That looks ominous. Ominous. Oh. Yeah, ominous is right. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Yeah, definitely. Woohoo, let's go. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Hey, I wanted to try it. Well, another failure. Let's go. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an yes. of any human life. God, these walls are Perhaps tall. The of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Exactly. And now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. 
Yes. Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Oh my god, there is a keypad. Simply being near the bucket, did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845? I always forget the order of the code. I always forget it. I don't know why. There we go. Wait, what was there? How oh, did I never notice that there was something written? <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's just go down there. Shit. Ah, uh, there we go. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yes, indeed it Stanley will. The bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Damn, we can read. Let's go. Let's not jump into the void this time. <laughs> Happen too often. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. New content. Every single one of these screens could be new content. Just imagine that, guys. Fired. Damn. Oh no, don't cry. You're too sexy. Don't cry. Was the bucket under the mind control facilities influence as well? I don't think the bucket has a mind, not gonna lie. Well, we only have the bucket, so it doesn't really matter. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Oh, no. But the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Exactly. He and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high five in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Bucket, you always know what to say. Oh damn. Stanley and the bucket waited in black. Also called darkness. Was it over? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yes, they had done it. Oh my god. Nothing can stop us now, right? Oh my god. The evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. What? So it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? 
Was Stanley in the bucket not about to be freed? Oh no. An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. I think I should buy a bucket. I think that would be a wise money investment. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need food. Very soon now. He was about to find or anything else, water like that. Don't need that. The bucket. Yeah. <laughs> so I suppose that will be it. Yeah, that will be it for this video. I'm gonna right now record the next one where we're just gonna go through the new content rooms again. Or I don't know what's gonna happen actually. We'll see that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I know it sometimes gets a little bit repetitive, but I think it's still enjoyable. So leave a like, comment or, or subscribe if you are not yet. And I'll see you next time.